we have found another one of the blue holes that you've seen in the previous mm. episodes. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy in here. Gonna do a little black bean fucking noodle kind of. Oh dear. G'day guys, welcome back to another Hello. episode of Sailing for Power. <laughs> we are super excited. We have found on the satellite image another one of those blue holes. Um, yeah, so we're going to go out. It's about a 12 mile run to get there and uh, hopefully it'll live up to our expectations. It's not perfectly round. Yeah. But, we've, got, uh, we've got eight people coming with us yeah. for three other boats, so Four no tenders. pressure. But, <laughs> Hopefully uh, it's worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we'll send the drone up, have a look, and yep. then we'll do some spearing after. Um, I've committed mm. myself to using the pole <laughs> spear this whole trip, so... I'm holding you to that. <laughs> yeah, so the goal for the trip is to get Michael a good fish. Well, not a good fish, something other than trout, because uh, we just shoot trout all the time. They're so delicious. But yeah, we want to get something special on the pole spear, don't we? Yeah, that'd be nice. Nice red throat or yellow lip or anything we'll see how we go yeah all right let's cool. go cool shall we all hold on and see if we how far we can go in, in the convoy uh quad well we've got a trimer anymore we've got Gonna send yeah. it up or bring it in. Anyway. You can't really tell that we're um, in a blue hole, but what's it look like, Michael? Amazing. Does it? Look at that. Oh wow. Okay. Yep. It looks nice here, but you'd never know. <laughs> Google, hey. It wasn't quite like the other blue holes we'd been to. It was more like a coral reef that had grown in a circle. It was fun to check out and was on the way to our next dive spot anyway. One that we'd sussed out on satellite images and looked pretty good. There's a big trout there. Not for that shit. Oh really? Yeah, she's that. Pete, is, are you allowed to shoot a trout? There's a big trout here. Like, I don't know, two inches from its face. 
Turns out I wasn't the only one missing fish. <laughs> nice purple card there. Michael had missed a couple of good ones already. He was forced back to tuning in his aim. Good old trout. So much for not shooting them. With three good trout in the esky, we decided to move on to the next spot some friends had told us about. Cool country here, eh? Really cool. Ah, this is because a cave you can fit like six tenders in here. Big GT, Jack. Crazy, beautiful in here. Oh no. How cool would it be if dive tanks here? I was thinking this would be an awesome night dive spot. Yeah. <laughs> That's bloody awesome. Oh, these caves are so cool. How's the light, dude? So nice. You guys cooked? Had enough? Yeah, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm, I get cold in this. 23 degrees at the moment. Spinning it like a little, like you're rolling a cigarette as you pull it out. Yeah, now just start rolling. Otherwise, you can push it. Through. Yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, nice coffee. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, definitely. Better than, than trout. trout. You should have shot any down with that. Alright. Here we are with our catch over the last few days. My red throat from yesterday. And a bigger one today, or well, no, smaller one today. And Michael's beautiful strawberry trout. Chocolate trout. Absolutely that was a beautiful. Skull drag up with the pole spear, I can tell you. <laughs> that yeah, is that. absolutely stunning. Yeah, so you can see the brown, both exactly the same species, but that was just taken in a bit shallower water than this one. So any trout over like, say, 12 meters, 
starts getting a bit redder and the deeper you go the redder they get so usually usually pretty much always anyway. beautiful very nice anyway i think we'll go fill it these up yeah. you're gonna eat some for dinner today oh we've got that chicken deposit <laughs> standard <laughs> i would love to just have some dumplings <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we will um, fill up these and maybe we'll do a catch and cook when we're back in port and uh, not as lazy. We have a chicken defrosting so we can put fish fillets in the freezer. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Yeah, we've made a mess up here in the name of a good thumbnail, which we might not even use that photo. <laughs> do you want to get a phone and take some photos? Yeah. On the move again, Michael. On the move. We are leaving, not overstaying our welcome. We've left. We may have, uh, yeah, we've left. You may have uh, heard me say that before. We never like to overstay our welcome at the reef because you get flogged if you leave it too late. And tomorrow is going to blow like on the nose about 18 knots, so it wouldn't have been very pleasant. But right now, it is absolutely stunning. Nice sailing. Yep. Flat water sailing in the middle of the ocean. Look at that. Just pointing into it. 10 knots of wind, doing four and a half knots. Quite happy with that. Selkie in the lead, slowly winning this very slow race. Well, I reckon that's almost a record. <laughs> not, not like last time, hey? We had that with us, it was flying. It's crazy, look, look where we left from. We left from there. We left from here, trying to get down. And that's what the current pushed us on. Sucked into that. We are just getting sucked, sucked, sucked. And then we tried to tack, and we just ended up going back, basically, further further north and just back the way we came and then uh yeah so it would have just been a, a case of just going back and forth until that tide slackened so that's why we got motors yeah this is the painted crayfish we shot the other day and i am gonna do a little black bean hocken noodle kind of hocken in little combination. A nice light lunch. Nice light, <laughs> not messy, five minute lunch. Um, mm. Yeah, there's a few, I've cooked this before. I'll put the recipe up. It's one of Charmaine Solomon's classics. But basically I've uh, heated up the oil, fried up some garlic and ginger to flavor it. And now I'm just gonna slightly cook the cray. And then I will do the paste which is black beans, sugar, um, a bit of garlic. What else we got in there? A bit the of garlic. Ginger. Uh, the ginger was already flavoring the oil. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then I've got some hock and noodles here that I've just got in the hot water. And I'll just mix that through at the end. What do you call them? Hocken. 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 Hocken noodles. There's an eye in there. I don't know if you know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I'm sure, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they noodle. spell it Hockey N. Hockey I don't know. The other one from Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> so you just want to lightly brown this because it's going to cook when you steam it. And uh, yeah, these painted crayfish, I find personally they can be a little, little bit bitter. So we tried cooking them on the barbecue a few times, and I don't know. It's just, Maybe I'm just not good enough at it. Not much flavour. It's just, I find it gets bitter, so I'm going to cook it with something with a lot of sauce. Bye. 
back in there. Oh shit! Hold <laughs> it. It's all happening. Hold it. Add the uh. <laughs> Because I don't like the stuff that comes off the bottom of that. How come you're not using the wok for this? Uh, because that was already there. <laughs> oh, you lazy puppy. I'm lazy. Spring onions in. Just add right egg in. The corn starch slurry. Mix it up a little. Mix it around a bit. Oh. It's a nice light lunch on prepare. <laughs> And we're going to have a light dinner as well anyway, aren't we? <laughs> what are we having for dinner, Michael? We've got Selkie cooking us duck tonight. Which is one of their specialties. Their uh, French influence is shining through there. They get these cans of duck confit, like just sitting in duck fat. And they are amazing, I must say. Mm. And Pete uses, usually cooks all these uh, duck fat potatoes. And, Gives us a jar of duck fat, which is a very welcome addition. I just want to show you the bullet right now. Look at this. <laughs> oh, crazy. Stonehaven. Watch his boat turn around. Oh, not yet. So basically what happens every I don't know, 20 minutes because we have these high cliffs here the uh, wind builds up and then when it's enough it comes racing down this hill and the gravity actually speeds it up and causes what we call bullets or just a big gust or I think they're technically called a catabatic wind, wind right so that was a good one <laughs> and it's calm now so um, they're really hard to catch on camera I've tried a million times. I got one finally. Anyway, lunchtime is looking pretty damn fine right now. Looks pretty good, I must say. Kind of excited. Let's get my dear. Thank you. What a backdrop! Beautiful Whit Sunday. Sitting in here at Stonehaven, discussing our next passage. Very beautiful spot. Mm. Mm. Good. I was a cray. Mm. Definitely. That's the way to do it. Look at that. Anyway, I'll post a link to the recipe below. Thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Cheers. I've made a mess. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yum. Good? Mm. Good flavour. <laughs> Maybe a little bit burnt. Burnt? Yeah. Really? Anyway, well, if you like burnt noodles. <laughs> Delicious. All right. Not your best, but. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, I could say, oh, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Look it's at this. YouTube amazing. Beautiful. But at least then they know that when it is really good, you tell them the truth, right? <laughs> it's delicious. It is good. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next episode. <laughs> we just. Just had a boat come do a bit of a drive by and he just yelled out, Hey Michael, love your videos. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Jess. <laughs> yeah, Ghetto guys, nice to meet you. <laughs> What's the name of the boat? Aurelium? Aurelium? I don't know. Next episode on Sailing for Power. We are slowly making our way to the outer coral sea, finally. So, look at the stars. the biggest plate coral I've ever seen in my life, I reckon. I'm going to try a Singapore chili mud crab recipe. A huge thanks to our patrons for your ongoing support. And if you'd like to support us in another way, be sure to check out our merch at sailingpapow.com.